Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Elite Weather. I am Mr. G, your meteorologist. And this is Cincinnati, Ohio, that we're taking a live look at right now, where we have a stormy day on tap for you folks out there across the Ohio Valley, right along the Kentucky border down there. And you're going to be dealing with a very wet day today with uh, some thunderstorms possible as well. I don't expect severe weather to your area yet, but you will see some severe weather move through tomorrow and maybe overnight tonight and early in the morning tomorrow, you could be seeing some severe thunderstorms in your neck of the woods. But again, uh, a very stormy day on tap for folks in Cincinnati, Ohio today, where we're gonna be seeing lots of rain and some thunder today. Um, uh, just a little note for the channel. Uh, thanks for watching me, guys. I would love it if you leave a like a comment and subscribe to the channel because you know I do what I gotta do to keep everyone informed about problems in the weather and keep me up to date on the weather um, developments and let's move on and talk about what the rest of the eastern United States is going to be dealing with with this storm that is affecting the Cincinnati area right now okay here we go it's time to talk about the rest of our weather presentation right now and our first map is going to be of our infrared satellite and this is that storm now you see the yellows that is our colder cloud tops that is indicative of convection and that's where we're seeing the heaviest rainfall maybe some thunderstorms as well we're seeing a little bit of that here across southern minnesota we're seeing it through parts of wisconsin and into michigan as well as over into ohio and that's where we've been seeing the heaviest precipitation up to this point where we're seeing more concentrated areas of rainfall we're seeing snow a bit further to the north through parts of ontario canada and into wisconsin and minnesota we're seeing some snow showers and we're seeing some thunderstorms as well in some of those areas here's a look at our live radar we are looking at that rain extending from this the gulf coast through parts of the southeast and into the Ohio Valley and as far north as southern Canada, we're seeing it convert over to snow. So Ontario, Canada, Montreal, Quebec, and we're seeing some snow and into parts of Wisconsin and northern Minnesota, we're seeing some snow and that snow goes up all the way over into the Dakotas and into parts of Wyoming and Montana as well. We're seeing some of that snow. Some areas across the plains can pick up a foot of snow and experience blizzard conditions. So we have a very powerful storm that we're working with right now. And here we are as we take a look at our area of most concentrated precipitation and that is going to be through the Ohio Valley and we're looking at the heavy rainfall some embedded thunderstorms as well as you take a look at the oranges and yellows here that's heavier rainfall that's convective it has some thunderstorms as well so we're seeing thunderstorms throughout parts of Michigan the Detroit area dealing with some thunderstorms and we're also seeing thunderstorms into parts of Pennsylvania and upstate New York over there near the Buffalo area and we're looking at snow blending in as well through Ontario Canada and through parts of northern Michigan the upper peninsula and through Wisconsin and Minnesota we're seeing that heavy snow with embedded thunderstorms so thunder snow is occurring across parts of the upper Midwest today and we are also looking at our temperature changes our temperatures are very important in forecasting this kind of weather and we're seeing temperatures uh, warmer than what we saw yesterday today and that is because of that warm air infection out ahead of our advancing storm system and we are seeing an increase in our current temperatures right now as it's very warm down to the south look at those 70s from the gulf coast but look how much warmer it is across the upper midwest down through iowa and illinois we're seeing it 60 degrees in des moines right now it's uh, uh kind of warm for this time of the year and that's that warm air and moisture being pulled up from the gulf of mexico by our advancing storm system and that is also evidenced by our dew point our current dew points we're seeing a uh, dew point near 60 degrees in the Des Moines area as well with a dew point of 56 
But down to the south in southern Texas, we see dew points as high as 72. And that dew point is moving to the north and will eventually push over toward the east as well. So we'll see increasing dew points along in the northeast as our storm advances to the, to the north and east. We are also seeing a lot of wind right now. We're not seeing a whole lot of wind yet. It is quite breezy in a lot of locations. We're seeing a lot of winds in that 20, maybe even 30 mile an hour range for some folks, especially across the upper Midwest and the Northern Plains there where the dark blue is. We're seeing winds that could possibly be over 30 miles per hour. But as our storm intensifies later today, we will see those wind speeds increase tremendously. And they could be as high as 50 miles an hour and even 60 miles per hour. Here's our thunderstorm outlook for today. Millions of people will be uh, uh, being affected by thunderstorms from the Texas all the way up to Minnesota and Wisconsin and Michigan. Everybody in between will be dealing with some thunderstorms today to some degree. Some of you folks will be dealing with very severe storms and possibly even tornadoes today. Okay, we've had a lot of lightning with our storm already. We've had thunder snow in some locations. We've seen snow, a lightning as far north as Minnesota and Wisconsin. We're seeing lightning over into parts of Michigan and Indiana. And especially down to the south right here, Along the Tennessee Valley, we're seeing a lot of lightning. We have a big cluster of thunderstorms. Southern Indiana and parts of Tennessee and uh, western Kentucky, we're seeing a cluster of thunderstorms producing some good lightning right now. Here's our setup for today with our very strong area of low pressure moving across the northern plains. And we're seeing our frontal boundary there sweeping across the central and southern plains and across Texas, and we're seeing our warm front up there across the Great Lakes. Now we're going to be seeing a lot of heavy rain down south of our warm front and out ahead of our cold front, and we're going to be seeing that severe weather take place as well through parts of the upper Midwest. And that severe weather is going to be most prevalent today across parts of the Midwest or in Wisconsin and parts of Iowa all of Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, Kentucky, Tennessee, Alabama, Mississippi, Northern Louisiana, Arkansas, and Missouri as well, where we could be seeing 70 million people being affected by severe weather today, where tornadoes will be very likely, uh, torrential rainfall, large hail, damaging winds up to 80 miles per hour, and some winds can top out at 100 miles an hour on some of the strongest thunderstorms. So a very um, potentially dangerous day is in store for millions of people across the Midwest predominantly and through parts of the lower Mississippi River Valley. We could be dealing with some very severe thunderstorms. So please pay attention to your local weather forecasters. And we all have the storm chasers in place chasing all of these storms to keep everybody informed of the latest conditions. That severe weather is going to shift to the east, northeast tomorrow. We could be seeing the potential for severe weather from the Florida Panhandle all the way up into the northeast to near and north of New York City. So we could be seeing that potential for severe weather, isolated tornadoes, some hail, damaging wind up to 70 miles an hour, and we can see winds as high as 80 miles per hour as we have less of a threat for severe weather across the eastern and northeastern. But nevertheless, it's going to be a um, potentially dangerous situation as well if any tornadoes develop. Okay, so as our storm moves to the east, here's a look at what we're going to be looking at tomorrow across the northeast. And we're going to be seeing our storm lift up that way. We're going to be seeing that heavy rain. Snow is going to be mostly confined to Canada and to parts of the upper Midwest and the northern Great Lakes. So northern Michigan, Wisconsin, and Minnesota is where we could be seeing our snow on Saturday. We're going to be seeing our rain and thunderstorms through the mid-Atlantic and up into parts of the northeast, rain showers, into the New England area. I don't expect any thunder that way, but I do expect some thunderstorms further to the south across the mid-Atlantic states. 
Okay, let's get our clicker right. Okay, we have another storm that's going to break out next week. Next Tuesday and Wednesday, we'll see another storm that's going to almost follow in the exact same footsteps of our current storm. The main difference being is that our jet stream will be a bit more amplified with that storm. So I think the severe weather will move a little bit further to the north into Minnesota and further into Wisconsin and Michigan as well. So definitely going to have to monitor our next storm coming in and keep you uh, updated with any changes with the next potential for severe weather across the Midwest. And we're going to be looking at that setup for this uh, storm that we're seeing right now and we're seeing that rain and thunderstorms this is what we're seeing that stormy weather coming up from the uh, Texas all the way up into the upper Midwest we're seeing that snow across the Great Lakes and the northern plains and we're seeing that warmth across the southeast into the eastern US and we're seeing showers across the Ohio Valley and into parts of the Northeast as well No clicker? Okay, there we go. All right, we're going to see a lot of winds on the backside of this storm system to today and into your day or Saturday. We're going to be seeing winds potentially as high as 60 miles per hour and 70 miles per hour that could lead to some power outages, uh, some you know, tree damage, and you're going to have a lot of travel disruptions as well as we have a lot of winds that's going to swoop in on the backside of our departing storm system. That snow is going to break out today across the uh, upper Midwest through Saturday. We're going to be seeing snow through Minnesota and the Dakotas, Nebraska, Wisconsin, and into Michigan and southern Canada, where we can be seeing snow that come up to about the um, um, we can see snow where we could get up to six inches of snow, especially across parts of Minnesota and the Twin Cities. But today, we're going to be seeing a lot of rain here in the upper Midwest, the, up the northern Mississippi River Valley, and we're going to be seeing that snow and rainfall. Eventually, this will become all snow across the upper Midwest down to about the Minneapolis area. But right now, we are looking at rain and a mix of rain and snow and some freezing rain as well and even some thunder is going to be possible here's our snowfall potential we can see about six inches of snow six inches of snow across the minneapolis area but in wisconsin up to 12 inches could be possible as well as through parts of the uh dakotas in western minnesota where we can see six inches of snow but some folks can pick up as much as 18 inches of snow across parts of northern Michigan. So a lot of snow potential with this storm as well. And here we are as we take a look at what we're going to be seeing next week. Again, much of the same scenario that we had with this storm. Almost a carbon copy of the storm that we're dealing with right now. And then on the back side of this storm Saturday, as this storm starts to pull out and head toward the northeast, we're going to be seeing northwest winds swooping in behind it. We could be seeing very strong gusty winds, and we're going to be seeing that snow shift over to Wisconsin and into Michigan before things pull on out as we get that wraparound moisture on the backside of that area of low pressure. But the biggest thing is going to be the wind and the cooler temperatures. Again, here's our outlook for the weekend and what we're seeing after on Saturday. And we're going to be seeing things drying out across the southern plains in the southwest. And we're seeing our big storm start to depart on the east. And we're seeing the next storm start to move in in the Pacific Northwest. All right, that is a look at your weather forecast. My name is Mr. G on this stormy forecast. Please be safe out there, everybody, and monitor those weather conditions. Uh, leave it right here on this channel for your weather updates. Leave your likes, comments, and subscribe. Bye-bye.